Good day and welcome back to another DB Legends video. In this video we're going to be taking a look at the new fierce fight that has come out on DB Legends and basically just take a look at how you can run through the fierce fight event. So obviously for most people uh, who've done fierce fights before it's a pretty straightforward process. I don't think anyone should be having any major issues with the event but obviously it's always great to kind of recap uh, how to do it and just highlight a couple things. So this is for Super Saiyan 2 Trunks adult. Uh, apparently he's an adult in Legends but a teen in Dokkan but hey I'm not going to get into the semantics. So Trunks is a fierce fight unit. Fierce fight units are event exclusive units and the main way you're going to unlock Z power for Trunks is through completing his missions whilst also farming his Z power from hyperdimensional carp. So it even kind of mentions here how to do it, get a Z power, get it from hyperdimensional carp and do his bonus battle and you'll be pretty good to go. There's also a new equip that has come out as well which is pretty decent value. You get 700 Z power by completing the stages, you'll get 200 by completing the missions, then you will receive additional 1500 from completing the event missions and then you pretty much have a very very solid team really honestly not too much of an issue at all uh, i think personally speaking so a very 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 straightforward team um yeah honestly pretty decent one thing i will mention uh at least yeah in terms of like the fierce fights in general they're all starting to follow a very similar process. So if you're comfortable with getting any Fierce Fight unit, you should be pretty comfortable with this process as well. So obviously the missions you can find in the events tab, it's pretty straightforward. A lot of them are to do with raising Trunks' level, raising his rank, soul boosting him, and raising his friendship. These you can cover quite easily by doing the Let's Fight upgrade event and by obviously just training him. You'll also find an exchange shop. Uh, here you can buy the gear, some slot removers and some energy. But the most important thing you're going to buy here is actually under the other tab and is an equipment that will actually boost the drops that you get from hyperdimensional carp. So this is probably the most important piece of equipment that you want to get because it's going to help you to farm a Z power faster. Beyond that, all you have to do to get Trunks is to simply beat the first event. You don't need to complete all of the missions, you just need to complete the first stage of the event and you'll get enough Z-Power to have one, or yeah, you know, to have Trunks. Basically to have him appear in your box so that you can start to obviously work on him and get everything done. What we're going to do, we'll just build a full event exclusive team. One thing that's really cool is you already have an event exclusive Trunks and you can use this Trunks uh, to complete the Trunks based missions. So you can you know, use this to already complete the first stages missions and that kind of helps in saving a little bit of time because now you obviously don't have to replay the stage to complete it with Trunks or anything. You can just you know, complete it quite naturally and everything tends to run pretty smoothly from there. The missions themselves for most of the stages are very very simple. They all have clear them with two or less characters, they all have clear them with trunks, they all have them clear them with our rising rush, and then they have something along the lines usually of cover changing, vanishing step, using a special skill or using a special move. So there's nothing too difficult I want to say in terms of those. The first three stages that you complete are very very straightforward super duper simple, not challenging in any way, shape or form. And you want to complete all the missions for all three of these stages so that you can unlock as much Z power for Trunks as possible. Once you've completed the first three stages, you will then unlock three bonus stages. These three bonus stages are more difficult but have different rewards. Some have Z power, some have, uh, for example, like equipment and others just have the kind of battle bonus medal that you get from the event so it's just a pretty you know, kind of stock standard affair obviously i've skipped ahead a little bit there's no point in watching me fight such a simple fight but basically we've cleared the fight 
did all the missions and then now you kind of want to prep for the second phase. So this will unlock trunks for you, which is pretty great. Uh, unlocking trunks is pretty cool and obviously allows you to work on some of the alternative missions, which I think is pretty helpful overall. So yeah, pretty simple stuff, uh, I want to say in general. Once you've unlocked trunks, you will see them pop up on your screen and then you want to get about leveling him, uh, upgrading his friendship, and soul boosting him. All of these are very, very simple, and you can simply replace the yellow PS5 trunks in your team if you want to, uh, or you can replace you know, any other unit, realistically speaking, uh, with trunks in your team. So yeah, pretty decent stuff. Obviously, uh, beyond that, there's not too much uh, else that you need to do in terms of prep. Train your trunks, uh, very simple. And usually let's fight missions not only to raise his level, but also uh, to obviously increase his friendship, which is very important because this is one of the things that's gonna hold you back. It's one of the missions that's more time gated. And so whenever people say, oh, I haven't completed all of the missions, but I've done everything, it's usually friendship. Like friendship is usually kind of like where you, you know, need to go. So take a look at that and you should be more than fine. Obviously, uh, overall, I do think generally everything's okay. Um, at least for me, I, I found everything to be okay. Um, I didn't think there was anything too crazy or you know, like bad or anything like that. So I think in general, you have a pretty decent time. And yeah, you shouldn't really have any major problems at all really so super duper simple stuff uh but yeah let's fight missions great for upgrading friendship make sure you do them beyond that that's all the prep work and now you just want to go back and complete stage two and three uh to start working on obviously getting towards your three bonus stages so that's what we're going to do uh we're going to jump back into the event and we'll complete stages two and three uh, i'll skip ahead you won't watch me do those uh, but as I mentioned, the missions are very similar to what you've seen already. So super duper simple stuff, nothing too crazy. Uh, vanishing step, switches, cover changes, etc. So once you have cleared the first three events, you will then unlock three more. Uh, the top one is a daily bonus stage that will drop the fierce fight medals for Trunks' exchange shop. So this is a great stage to uh, efficiently earn fierce fight medals and use them to obviously purchase either the equipment uh, or to purchase the uh, you know, generic kind of like gear that you need for obviously multiple uh, of the hyperdimensional co-op. So that's the daily bonus stage. There's no special challenges here. It's just basically clear it uh, in under a set time limit. So that's very straightforward. The second one you unlock is for the equipment. This one has more uh, like actual challenges very similar to the ones we've done and then you have the challenge stage which is just very hard um, as always people know that these are pretty difficult stages so very 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 simple kind of stuff we're going to do the daily bonus stage we'll then do the equipment stage and then we'll attempt the challenge stage but i usually do that in a separate video because you get your ass handed to you basically uh, to cut a long story short the daily bonus stage is very simple. This one is pretty straightforward. And because the combat now is you know, pretty like simple, uh, I'm gonna talk a little bit about trunks. Because obviously, you know, do people even want to grind for trunks? So there's a couple of things about trunks that's pretty interesting. Uh, firstly, he cancels enemy attribute upgrades and buff effects on hit with his super. This is pretty good. Uh, and will allow him to have some kind of longevity or at least some kind of usability on a team. His main ability will draw a special arts card, cancel your ally's attribute downgrades, restores his own key, shortens your ally's substitution counter, inflicts all enemies with reduction in arts card draw speed, and it's pretty accessible being available after 15 time accounts. His special skill restores his own key, restores your ally's health by 10% and gives plus 100% to the next art damage inflicted, which is pretty insane. He is a tag future event exclusive or Vegeta clan 
boost unit and he boosts base strike and blast defense which is pretty good. In terms of unique ability he applies the following effects to self when the battle starts. He has 80% damage inflicted, reduction of damage by 50%, 60% to his key recovery. When he switched to standby he will randomly draw one new card when you have three or four three or fewer cards, restore allies key by 50 and give plus 15 percent of damage inflicted by allies for 15 time accounts. He also inflicts the enemy with a minus 15 percent to strike and blast arts power for 15 time accounts and also cancels allies attribute downgrades if they are a future event exclusive or Vegeta's clan unit. So that's pretty good. Uh, I think Trunks' ability to buff up his teammates heal his teammates and also reduce the amount of debuffs that you have is pretty good uh, and could be useful on a lot of teams but it's a bit situational depends on who you're fighting but you know I think there is some usability there's a lot of utility that Trunks is bringing attribute debuff uh, attribute downgrades for the enemy removal of debuffs for yourself removal of buffs for the enemy healing for your team and shortening the substitution count it's a lot that he does and it could be pretty useful. Future is a tag that's always getting buffed. It's like their favorite category in this game. And Vegeta's clan also always needs the help, so that's pretty good. He then has power to shake off despair, which shortens his own substitution count by two as default. So he's immediately able to be switched in and out quite regularly. And then when he enters the battlefield, he restores his own key by 20. He has plus 20% of damage inflicted. He reduces damage received by 20% for 10 time accounts, reduces enemy key by 20, and then he will inflict multiple effects on the enemy based on how many times this character has been on the battlefield. If he's been on the battlefield for two or more times, he will inflict the enemy with an 80% reduction to key recovery. If he's been on the battlefield for three or more times, he will give 30% damage inflicted to allies, future, events exclusive, or Vegeta clan. This is pretty good uh, and the big thing behind this is obviously his ability to buff the rest of his rotation and the rest of his team. Whenever he uses an arts card cost he increases his arts card draw speed, gives plus 15% of damage inflicted and restores key by 5. So that's pretty good. The big thing about Trunks is the ability to possibly combo him into some pretty good like abilities considering the fact that he restores key on every arts card is pretty good and you could possibly get him to combo quite nicely overall i think he's a very interesting unit i do think he's a much more interesting unit to take a look at than the kefla i think kefla was uh, a unit that struggled a lot uh, just in general and i think you know for me i find that the like way trunks works is pretty solid so yeah um i think in general that's just where i probably stand with like my opinion on trunks and i think in general he could be a very interesting option for future mains possibly for vegeta clan mains if you're short if you're looking for a bench character if you don't really have the ability to nullify buffs he could be very useful um I think in this current meta, the way everything works, it is going to be difficult for him to have an impact against some of the top, top tier teams and units because a lot of them have abilities that will nullify whatever he's putting out. Uh, a lot of them are non cancelable. A lot of them have, like, you look at purple, goji, the blue, he's just going to reject the super attack or the special move. So it's, yeah, it's pretty, pretty crazy from that perspective. But yeah, obviously, guys, if you want to keep farming on them, you're going to have to go do hyperdimensional carp. And you're going to want to make sure that you have the Super Saiyan to Kefla, because that's going to give you a boost. And you're also going to want to make sure that you have the equipment for the hyperdimensional carp, because that's also going to help you out uh, quite a lot. So there's quite a few things uh, overall that I think you're probably going to want to be aware of, uh, and that you're going to want to obviously like manage and you know consider when you're farming a z -par. but other than that a pretty straightforward situation i think most players shouldn't have any major issues with any of this so yeah 
uh, pretty simple stuff. And obviously, if you have any queries, uh, you can let me know in the comments down below. But otherwise, other than that, I want to say thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Till then, bye.